So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the three best glitch deeks. The first one is going to be a variation of the stride deke. The second one is going to be a half spin fake slap shot. And the third one is going to be behind the back self sauce. So the first one that I said is a variation of the stride deke. So the stride deke is basically when you're skating, you let go of the left stick, hold L1 and push to the right or to the left with the left stick. But there's a glitched version where you can actually get a speed boost off of it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to know is how to open up your hips or do a mohawk. Now, in order to do this, you want to lightly press L2 in order to open up your hips like this. And once you've practiced opening up your hips like this and just skating backwards in general, you want to apply this to a stride deke. So for example, you would open up your hips slightly and then immediately do a stride deke. And I'll show you what that looks like. Now, this works best when you're entering the zone and you want to do it kind of early so that you avoid getting hit but if you do this correctly it gives you a chance to evade all of the defenders and gives you a ton of space and a ton of room to just make a play so once you enter the zone you just want to open up your hips and immediately do a stride deke and you get a little bit of a speed boost like that and you can do some combos like a through the legs right there like i did and i'll actually make a video about different combos that you can do based off of these kinds of deeks but for now let's focus solely on the glitch stride deke so again open up your hips immediately do a stride deke and you get a little bit of a speed boost now you can actually do this from both sides i just find more success in the forehand side because once you're in here you're on your backhand which gives you a lot less options to do something and you just kind of handcuff yourself into getting hit or basically poked off the puck so now that was the first glitch deke. the second one is the fake slapper half spin but first let me show you what it looks like now, I know it may not seem like I'm doing a ton there, but it really does help you evade defenders in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So now, how do we do this? So for righties, you want to make sure that your skater is facing to the left side of the rink. And for lefties, you want to make sure that your skater is facing to the right side of the rink. Now, in order to get your skater facing that way, it involves holding L2. And then once you're in this position, just do a fake slapper. In order to do a fake slapper, you just want to pull back on the right stick and then release it. Now, something you really want to make sure that you don't do is open up your hips the wrong way. So as a righty, you don't want to open up to the right side. And as a lefty, you don't want to open up to the left side. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to work. So for example, you don't want to do this because you're not getting any animation off of that. Now, the reason that this works is because the slap shot animation wants to face you towards the net at all times whenever you're in a slap shot animation. So if you're facing the exact opposite way, you get a boost of momentum going the opposite way if you're facing away from the net. That's why if you open up your hips while facing the net, you're not going to get any animation because you're already facing the net. Essentially, what you want to do is open up your hips so that you're facing away from the net and then do a fake slapper. Now, I find that doing this half spin fake slapper actually oh complements God. very well with holding immediately to the backhand if you're in front of the net because it gives you that boost of momentum and you can just completely fake out the goalie. Okay, so that was the second deke. Now the third glitch deke that I want to talk about is the behind the back self sauce. And this glitch deke is highly requested. I get a lot of comments about this. So I'm going to give you a breakdown about how to do it right now. So as we've seen, a lot of these glitch deeks branch off of us pressing L2 or LT if you're on Xbox. And this third glitch deke is the same. So the behind the back self sauce looks like this. And essentially what you're doing is just playing it back behind your back and passing it to yourself. Now, in order to initiate this deke, you're going to have to practice just backwards skating and gliding with the puck like this. And then once you get that down, you just want to add holding it on the forehand. And then what you would need to do is very lightly press R1. And when I say very lightly, I mean very, very lightly, because if you press it just a little bit too hard, it's going to get out of your reach and you're going to overpass it. Now, it's important to remember that the R1 or RB is intended to be a saucer pass. So what you're essentially doing is just saucer passing it to yourself behind your back. That's why it's so crucial to press the R1 or RB button very, very lightly so that you're not over saucing the puck and that it's out of your reach. And then once you put it all together, it should look like this. All right, so those are three glitch deeks that you should be using in NHL 23. If I miss anything, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see any other tutorials, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.